Here we are on another bath to reglaze with some yeah. ponding in the bottom. I'm gonna fix all this up. Let's get going. This is how far we are in it now. Talking's all cleaned up. Guy was nice enough that he actually did a great job and got most of it off. We just had to buzz a little bit around the edge there, get it all cleaned up nice, nice, so there's no residue. Um, interesting part is this tub was replaced eight years ago. Worn right to the bone in the bottom. So when people say, how long does a tub last? Well, if you bought a brand new tub less than 10 years ago, you're probably calling me now. They don't last that long, guys. I'm sorry to tell you. But the days of the tubs lasting 50, 60 years, those went away with the color tubs in the 1960s. Those tubs lasted a long time. The tubs now, you're spending three, 400 bucks on a bathtub, you're gonna be reglazing it 10, 12 years from now. That's just how it is. And then your reglaze job's gonna last eight to 12 years, depending on who you get to do it. And then, you know, as long as it's a professional company, you can just keep reglazing it, reglaze it again. Reglaze it again. If it's done professionally by a very good company, it'll last a long time and you can just keep doing it. You can redo it every eight to 10 years. That's what we recommend, eight to 12 years, reglaze your tub again. And then you don't have to do the cost of tearing all the ceramic out. And, you know, it doesn't line up with the floor because the new tubs, they don't have the, the exact same design and it won't exactly, you know, you gotta redo the plumbing, you gotta replace the floor, you gotta replace the walls. And since your plumbing is 10 years old, you might as well change the diverter anyway, since you got everything ripped apart. That's another expense. It just doesn't end. So if you're in great condition like this, the tub's not in bad condition, it's just worn through the porcelain. You can't clean it anymore. And there's a little bit of a dip this area. So we made it nice and flat. Just keep reglazing it. They'll look brand new for a long, long, long time. I've reglazed tubs that were done probably 10 years in the past, 10 times in the past. Not a big deal. They turn out great. So what we're doing right now is I actually spun this out. I took this out and so I can get underneath there and it wasn't rusty. It just had a few chips on this edge right here. So it was easier to take it out to sand around instead of playing around with it. So. Now I'm putting it back in so we can clean the tub, but you can see the area here that we feel is nice and straight now. How did I fix this? I etched it out to here, hydrofluoric etching paste, fiberglass filler to fill in the low spot. I buzzed it all flat with 40, skim coat of the two part polyester putty. That's what you see here, is this, this green stuff. Buzz that with 40. So it was all nice and flat and smooth, vacuumed it all. Then I mixed up another batch of it, only just maybe the size of maybe two quarters. And I put a nice skim coat on here, dried it with the heat gun. Now that fills in my 40 grit and helps feather it a little bit. Then I buzz that with 40 grit real quick, just to flatten it out. Then I do 120 on the whole thing and smooth it nice and straight. Get a block with 120 on it. Sand it with the block with 120, maybe five minutes. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Then I put 240 on my sander with the interface pad and I buzz all over it with 240. Made it all nice and smooth, vacuumed it up. Then I put a skim coat of the red lacquer glazing putty on it. I let that dry, put a heat gun on it for two minutes. Then I scuff sand it really quick with 120. Then I vacuum it. Then I put a second coat of it on. Then I let that dry. I get a few things cleaned up here. I, I sanded this thing by hand with 120 just to make sure that, because they had, they had little bits of silicone that was stuck here and there and some paint. So I just sanded that real quick, maybe 10 minutes. Waited for that to dry. Once that was dry, I scuffed it with 120. Then I flipped over to 240 and then I sanded it all nice and smooth with 240. And now it's just a beautiful seamless repair. You can see where the etch was, where I put the red. It has it adhered great to the tub because it's got something to bite into. It never fails when you do it this way. Now it's nice and level. All the water will go down the drain. We're gonna do our cleaning process on the whole tub. We're gonna dry it, then we're gonna mask it up, and then I'm gonna go over our coating process on this.
She's all in prime, three coats of prime. And you don't even have to pound it on. A little bit of that shown through, that's all good. Now, why do we prime this? Well, we want to seal it in, make a nice, beautiful canvas to apply our coating in. So it helps a little bit with color coverage, um, gives a little added layer of protection a little bit. It increases the bond to the porcelain a little bit. So every little bit helps in this game. So we waited 22 minutes after applying three coats. So I applied one coat, waited four to five minutes, second coat, four to five minutes, my final third coat, and I waited 22 minutes. Now I'm gonna take my uh, fancy gray, gray scotch bright pad, sharp right there, and that is what this is. Well, it's not like your gray scotch bright pad you're gonna get at the Home Depot for scrubbing your pots and pans. It's, it's uh, made by 3M, it's designed for sanding stuff, um, and it's like the equivalent to about a thousand grit. So now we're just gonna go over the whole job like this, and we're just gonna get any dirt nibs off. You can do this in your top coat as well, but on this particular job, I put uh, three good coats of primer on it. And I am just going to do my little sanding part in the primer stage on this one. I've done a video where I did it in my top before, my final top coat. You can do that too as well. If you wanna be super fanatical, you could do it in your prime, and you could do it in your top coat as well. But, uh, you know, on this job, it's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a nice house, but it's, you know, a little bit cheaper and it's, uh, it's a rental. So we're gonna make it really, really nice. And uh, I try to make my jobs, when, I, when I'm gauging the quality of the work, not the longevity of it, the longevity in every one of our jobs is the same. You know, you get 10 to 12 years out of it. But, because we're always using basically the same, the same product. All polyurethane top coat system. But you kind of got to gauge where, how, how far are you going to go on it? And I want to exceed expectations a little bit. We don't need to make every tub of Cadillac. You know, it wouldn't be very, it wouldn't be economical to do that. And, and that's not what's needed either. What's needed is a nice, good, fair, clean job that looks super, super good. It's gonna last 10 years. You achieve that, what's the point of killing yourself even more? So a lot of people ask like, what type of primer system I do? It really doesn't matter what you use. I clean, I micro etch a little bit, and then I dry it really good. I make sure everything's all cleaned up. And then I use a saline bonding agent that's made by Sumter, Crosslink 3. In my opinion, that's the best stuff I've ever been able to find. If you're not using that, it, you look back in some of my testing videos, it is a really, really, really good product. They've done a really, really good job. And there's really not any other company that even comes close to it. If they are, send it to me, I'd love to test it. But I've tested a whole bunch of different stuff. You can watch back some of my videos. I've tested all different types of things and uh, nothing comes close to those guys. So. I use them, very happy with it. It's affordable, it's fast, it makes the job stick like crazy. So what more do you want? All good in the hood. And then I put some type of epoxy primer that's made for a moisture area. I use um, different primers that are made by battery finishing companies. You can use automotive if you want, they'll still work. I've done it before, but it's slow. It's very, very slow. You're waiting, extended wait times between coats is really long, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. And, and it just, it, it gives a chance for more debris and garbage to fall in the tub. So I find it just, it, it might be a little bit more expensive using the coatings from uh, the bathtub company that make that bathtub coating. It's way faster and my time is worth something. So, and then you can use any type of polyurethane on it. As long as it doesn't yellow, don't use an epoxy, it'll yellow. I don't care what anybody says, it's got a mean in it, it'll yellow. Might not take a year, it might take a couple months, maybe it takes a year to yellow, I don't care. I'll spray a poly. My tubs never turn yellow, that's why they don't turn yellow, it's just because you choose to use the right, the right product so it doesn't yellow. So it doesn't really matter what you, what you use as your top coat, as long as it flashes fast enough. So you can use Napco, you can use Hawk, you can use Sumter, you can use Midwest Chemical, you can use uh, like Cardinal coatings, you know, a bunch of different off brands and stuff like that. It, it can all work. You know, what actually is the most important is how you prep it. And if you use that bonding agent, you use that bonding agent, it's lights out guys, it sticks to it like crazy. Clean it really good, etch the appropriate spots. If you want to overkill it, micro etch the whole tub like I like to, then go ahead. They say it doesn't improve it. I don't care, I'm crazy, but it doesn't hurt it. I've done all the testing and it doesn't hurt it. So we'll go overkill a little bit. We, we wipe our saline bonding agent on, we put our primer on. Now, since we're all clean, it's super, super nice and smooth now with my with my scotch bright pad. I got every little dirt nib out of it. What did it take? You know, just a few minutes. So now let's blow it, tack it, add the top coat.
Here we are guys, all brand new, beautiful finish, melted right in. Everything looks nice and tight, smooth. The coating laid perfectly flat. The temperature and the humidity was just perfect this day. Nice straight cock bead. Looks like a brand new tub. You're gonna get over 10 years out of this job. You saw how we prepped it. You saw how much material we put on it. And it just turned out beautiful. Very happy with it. Customers saw it, they were static, they loved it. All right guys, we will see you guys on the next video. Hope to hear from you. you. Got any questions? If you're a finisher, feel free to give me a call anytime. If you're a customer, you want to know more about this process, give me a call. If you made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for the support. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.